Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. You can also hit that little bell icon, ding, and YouTube will notify you every time we upload a new video, which buckets is how often? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So if you love sneakers, you have come to the right place. If you're looking for me outside of YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, at Mr. Fomer Simpson, same name across the boards. We got some cool stuff going on on those different platforms. I think it's pretty cool anyway. Uh, buckets. Uh, what am I forgetting? To so like the video. Oh, if you enjoy this video, Thumbs up goes a long way. Helps the channel continue to grow. Hashtag feed the algo. Boom. And uncivilizedstore.com is the last thing that I'm going to mention. Buckets, who is behind the camera, and myself, we have a clothing brand. That is where we sell it. So all links will be in the description of this video for your convenience. And with that said, let's get it on. Buckets, anything? No. Three, two, one. Bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 9 Chili Red. These were originally slated to be a February release, but were pushed back and are set to drop May 7th and retail is 200 bucks. I grabbed this pair from a local sneaker resale shop that you'll hear me mention a lot if you tune in regularly down here in Tampa, Florida. Kicks are for us is the name. So shouts to them, appreciate them looking out as always. You know, this is a sneaker. I've gotten a few messages, a few comments about them. It's not a sneaker that I'm super excited about necessarily. To me, they kind of remind me of Buckets. Was it the uh, the Motorboat Jones from uh, 2012, I think it was? Very similar. Essentially, kind of, sort of the same sneaker. And also, Buckets, this is another thing that we've talked about in previous videos. I think the all red sneaker colorway is a little bit past its prime. Yeah, at the moment, it's not. I think 2012 to 2015, every brand, every sneaker silhouette, I know I'm exaggerating, but it just seemed like every brand and every sneaker model had an all red colorway. Yeah, and it's time will come again. Yes, like everything. And so maybe this is the start of the resurgence. You never know. For me, I love the Jordan 9, but when it comes to this sneaker specifically, I prefer the more muted color schemes, more earth tones, if you will. That sounds fancier. Earth tones. I like that. Sounds artsy, Buckets. Not artsy. It's... Would you call me an artsy man? Not at all. Disagree. Agree to disagree. I mean, the Olive 9 is probably one of my favorite Jordan sneakers of all time. The sneaker itself, it just has such a boot type feel to it, such a fall and winter vibe. I'd say it's one of the less popular Jordan models. Buckets, you agree? From 1 to 14 for sure. Yeah, not a silhouette that people get really excited about. I actually love them. I do. But I also realize they're not that sought after. Maybe a loud colorway like this one, something that has pop to it, something that's very bright. Maybe it'll kind of hype them up a little bit. I don't really know. They do catch your eye. I mean, this chili red, it is super, super bright. It is very, very spicy. Pun intended, no pun intended, who knows? The upper is made up of this almost nylon type of mesh, and it has a pretty rugged, durable feel to it. Smooth on the toe. And then you can see the different patterns and texture stitched in. Then there's a smooth patent leather wrapping around the entire sneaker. A 
up along the ankle as well. You've got a more traditional mesh on the tongue, Air Jordan branding front and center, red laces, black eyelets, Jumpman Globe logo on the heel. I've always loved that logo on the Jordan 9 for some reason. 23 underneath, black pull tab. You've got another red on black Jumpman hit on the midsole. And most of the midsole is this bright chili red. And then the outsole is almost entirely blacked out. You've got the red Jumpman as you can see and some different patterns and symbols etched in. If you are in the mood for a red pair of Jordans, then you are not going to be mad at these. Not sure it's the best summer sneaker. Colorway wise, probably yes. Sneaker wise, probably no. Like I said, for me, the Jordan 9 is a fall and winter classic. It's not something that I usually wear much this time of year. But again, that's just me. I guess the last comment I have on these is that they are going to be a little hard to match with a traditional red these are super vibrant this shade it's pretty unique which is dope but it also does make them a little bit more difficult to pair up so just something to note i'm just throwing that out there just a little a little lob a little alley-oop scale of one to ten on these buckets we got to make it official i'm going to give these a i'm going to give them a six out of ten i don't dislike them i'm definitely not in love with them it's kind of middle of the road for me it's if i was going to go with a red Jordan 9 like I said I do think that I like that um what was the the pair from 2012 motorboat 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 Jones yeah it's when they they put all those like fictitious names I think the pair that I liked the most was the the crawfish it was like the Billy Ellis or something where it had red but it was more of like like kind of a darker red and then some gold in it I like those more so I guess Jordan 9s that have those red hits, I guess I'm kind of cool with the all red, not so much my vibe. So I say all that to say, 6 out of 10. Long-winded. Very. You, scale of 1 to 10. 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10, not feeling them. Yeah, and it's not so much that I don't like the shade of red, which I don't, but oh. it's the material choices I think are god-awful. Really? So bad. Oh, I, I don't agree with that. They almost have like kind of a... They're not waterproof, I don't think, but they almost have a waterproof feel to them. Yeah, but I'm telling you, you just I was up close with this sneaker. Yeah, yeah, all the B-roll, all this. Here, put some in right now. This stuff right here, yeah, that's your handiwork. It is. And you do because now you're making me do more editing. But. Yeah, throw it in. There's never, you know, uh, uh, more cowbell. Okay. More B-roll. It's what we live by. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about this sneaker, this colorway, the Jordan 9 in general. Whatever your thoughts are, leave them down below. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets, anything from you? No. Hasta la vista. Spiced it up a little. Thank you.